familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Bright and early for the daily race. It feels like I'm going nowhere. It feels like I'm going the world turns, it makes my stomach churn. Homicide, genocide, bodies being burned. Wow. Society is civilized. Everyone, Puka Chef back here, and today I have a Puka review over the Dushini Skyline. <clears throat> I got this from my friends over at True Clouds, straight from Germany. Uh, me and Zach from Strictly Shisha. Uh, we did one of the first English, or if not the first English review over the True Clouds Puka Cream, the alternative Puka Cream. And they were nice enough to thank us by sending us a Dashini Skyline. This came straight over from Germany, and it's actually a True Clouds edition. It has the True Clouds logo right here and right here. <clears throat> but other than that, it's just a Dashini Skyline. It's the exact same kind of Skyline you'd get if you got one of these. Um, so I'm going to go over a few of the things. I'm going to get into smoking it, and then I'm actually going to go over to Zach from Strictly Shisha. He's joining me on the review again today. I want to thank him for that. And uh, yeah, so straight into it. You have um, six pieces all together. You have the base, you have the hose port, and I guess the hose port piece, which I'll get into that later. You have the purge, the down stem, the center piece, which I just call it kind of like the honeycomb, and then you have the tray. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all broken down and show you what it all looks like up close. So those no longer here over the years I learned to face fears instead of crying I cheer the sad times of bad crimes and past rhymes the mad blocks the mad streets and ass signs the broken hearts the tidal waves the stress ways had to admit pelican bay got your best days west craze the streets is like a nightmare cuz life here I'm telling you won't be quite rare. so i have it all broken down and I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of the close-up of each one. I'll well, put it back together. It's super smooth. Putting it back together, taking it apart, it's really easy. So, this of course is the base. It is super thick, super heavy, and it has these really nice, like, laser etched lines and, like, designs and stuff. So, and if you actually can see on here, you can actually see my water line where I usually like it. There's the laser etched design. I usually like it just right above that when I fill my water. So, next will be the down stem. The down stem also has the True Clouds and the Dashini logo. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it has a really, really nice diffuser on here. I haven't actually counted the holes, but everything is like exactly the same on here. These are like hand blown, but everything is like extremely top quality hand blown. It's all the exact same. And even this, this is the thinnest piece on the hookah. And even this is super thick, so. Next piece is the beehive, the honeycomb, whatever you want to call it, the centerpiece. This is the piece that you actually see the smoke coming down from the bowl and everything. It looks really nice, and it's super heavy for its size. Fits right into the down stem. And you have the tray itself, and the tray actually comes with its own grommet right on the inside. It has fit every bowl that I've tried so far. Even the apple on top, which I've always had trouble fitting it on different hookahs and stuff, it fits it fine. No grommet or anything needed. So, that fits right into the beehive. And then, of course, you have the purge and the hose part. Any silicone hose that you have, you can fit right on top of the hose port. Um, they actually sell them, or you can buy one of these, so you can angle it down so you don't get the kink in the hose or anything. So, you can actually get that piece. And then you have the purge itself. It's really nice because you can change the angle of the purge. That way you don't blow it into people's faces and stuff like that. And it, they have this little rubber stopper in there. So when you put it in there, the rubber actually kind of catches it. So if you purge really hard or something, it's not going to blow the glass purge out like it's uh, done with other glass hookahs and stuff. And the ball in there is actually an all-glass BB as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, load up my bowl and everything, fill the hookah with water. And while I do that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Zach and let him give you his opinion. So, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all when Zach's done talking. Hi, Chefs viewers. This is Zach with Strictly Shisha. Christian and I worked together on the True Clouds review, and it was such a fun experience working with him. And what came out of that review was this Dashini Skyline. We were both sent Dashini Skylines as a thank you gesture from the True Clouds people, and uh, we decided to review it together since we had so much fun last time. So I'm sure Christian has already told you his thoughts about this hookah, the pros and cons, and his overall thoughts. 
But I want to talk to you guys today about my uh, overall thoughts of this and also direct you guys to my channel, uh, Strictly Shisha, for my full review of the Shijin Skyline as well as reviews of a lot of other products. I try to put out reviews uh, a couple times a week for you guys. So definitely check out my channel. But uh, Christian, uh, thank you very much for having me on your channel. I really do appreciate it. And guys, Christian is a really nice, nice guy. So definitely subscribe to him and support him. He's one of the nicest people I've met in the hookah industry. So the Dashini Skyline. Um, I've smoked a lot of hookahs on the market and a lot of glass hookahs from a lot of big name brands. And I can safely say that the Dashini Skyline is one of the highest quality uh, glass hookahs that I've ever smoked out of. And in terms of aesthetics, it is beautiful. I love the design of this piece. It is truly a work of art. In terms of function though, and how it performs, uh, Krish and I probably both agree on this, but if you are smoking this hookah stock, it has a bit of an airy draw to it. And some people might not like that. I know personally for me, I like a little bit of density in my clouds. I like a little bit of, not per se restriction, but just to feel like you're smoking something. And uh, stock with the Dachini Skyline, you are not getting that because it is such a smooth draw and there's a lot of volume to fill. But there are some uh, modifications and learning curves that you guys can do to make your sessions more enjoyable and get huge clouds with great flavor. And I honestly think today, I'm probably getting the, one of the best sessions I've ever had uh, with the Dachini Skyline. And my setup today, I'm smoking uh, KM Tobacco, the Cinnamon Ice Chill. By the way, it's my total favorite flavor right now. And I can't wait to get my hands on more. Uh, with foil. And I'm getting the best results with foil so far with the Dachini Skyline. I can really adjust the amount of draw and holes I poke in this to get that nice draw that I'm looking for. I also have this paired with the Mole Catcher. And the Mole Catcher, what it does is, as you can see, it's slightly darker because there is actually molasses and juice that's collecting in this piece right here. And also, because it's filled with water, you are adding a little bit of restriction to this. And uh, with these modifications, I am getting an amazing draw and great clouds. So I'll show you guys a few of my clouds. Once you learn how to adjust your bowls and pack them accordingly, and if you get the adapter which bypasses this middle beehive or mole catcher, you can achieve really great results with this hookah. And I think we both agree that this is one of the nicest pieces in our collections. And both of us have pretty vast collections of hookahs, and I know for me, this is definitely a statement piece. People see my collection and this is the first hookah they notice. It is a gorgeous piece that performs. So definitely check out uh, Dashini hookahs if you guys are interested in picking up one. I know I recently just purchased the Dashini Big Bang to show you guys that I'm actually willing to buy another one because I actually enjoyed it so much. So uh, thank you very much, Christian, for having me on your channel today. And I really like the work you've done. You've always put out great reviews. And I learned so much from your channel. So support Christian, thumbs up, like his videos, and check me guys out at Strictly Shisha on YouTube. But thank you guys very much for watching, and thank you again, Christian. Take care, guys. So I want to thank Zach for coming on my channel. Uh, definitely go check out his at Strictly Shisha. And um, yeah, one of the things he mentioned in the review in his was the airiness of the hookah. When I first got this hookah from Jonas from True Clouds, I told him, I mean, first of all, thank you for sending it to me, and that I was going to be super honest in this review. Just because it was a gift doesn't mean I'm not going to just sell the hookah. It does have a strong airiness to it, and it's so wide open, it feels like you're breathing. So if that's kind of a problem for you, this really isn't the hookah for you. But well, you can fix a few of those things by adjusting your water level, using foil on your bowl, which I'm using the Goodfellow V3 uh, foil, three coca lava flats, my aluminum D hose, and I have some haze, tangiers, and ugly hookah tobacco in there. So that's one of the things you can do to help. But other than that, I mean, you still get really good clouds. The purge, it works in one breath. The only downside is the middle piece doesn't completely purge, or actually purge at all. So if you don't constantly hit it, there is a chance of stale smoke. But the way I smoke, I constantly hit the hookah, so I haven't had that problem yet. But that middle piece does have smoke in it at all times. So just be careful there. Um, you can get extra pieces. Uh, there's a spiral piece, there's a mole catcher that Zach used. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's like an unlimited options for a variety for adding on to this hookah. So that's kind of a cool thing. If anything on this hookah breaks, which is going to be very hard because I've sat the suka down pretty hard a few times and nothing has happened, knock on wood, but it's super thick glass, it's heat resistant, um, I've had coals on the tray for the entire session before and no problems at all, no discoloration, no cracking, no micro fractures, no anything. So that's a good thing, but even if somehow something did break, you can always buy extra replacement parts, um, 5 star .com. they have, <laughs> well my fiance just burped, but that's cool, but they have extra replacement parts and everything. Um, it's also where you can buy the hookah. This quality glass hookah in America, normally you would be spending four hundred to six hundred dollars on like the really top of the line quality. This one is like in the low two hundreds or right at two hundred something. So I mean that's 
incredible to me. Just the the price point. So I mean, if this hookah broke on me, I would definitely buy a replacement. But uh, all together, the glass is super thick, and I haven't had any problems with that. The only problem I've had so far is the airiness of it. But you can't tell with the clouds, really. It's all on how you pack the bowl, how your water level is and everything. But the diffuser on here, I don't even know if you can hear the hookah at all, but it's a super smooth, super quiet hookah. This is a perfect hookah for, you know, watching movies at night or something, unless you want to use the LED light, which this looks cool to me. It doesn't really add anything. So, in my final thoughts of the hookah, it's definitely a centerpiece hookah. I have a huge collection, and this is the one that most people ask about when they see my collection, just as Zach said in his part. Um, there is an airiness to it, but that problem can be fixed by getting extra parts, but mine is actually all stock. This is exactly what you'll get. It doesn't come with a hose or a bowl or tongs or anything. It comes with all of this. So, all in all, it's a beautiful hookah. It does have a bit of an airiness to it, but it's definitely a glass hookah that's going to last as long as you take care of it and everything. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just really pleased with it. I want to thank Joannis and True Clouds for sending it to me. I want to thank Zach for joining me on this review. And I also want to give a shout out to Five Star Hookah because that's where, if you're in America, that's where you can buy it. And I guess even if you're not in America, I don't know how expensive the shipping rates are for other countries. But it's where you can buy it and all the replacement parts and everything. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you like this review. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. I want to know what y'all think of this hookah, if you have the hookah yourself. Just give me your honest feedback. But I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of my day. So, see you guys.